At 87, Horace Brown, farmer and market gardener from Beckley, has never felt the need to take a holiday from his beloved home, close to the Sussex and Kent border. He has five children, 15 grandchildren, and 17 great-grandchildren. But instead of taking things easy now, he's up at all hours, working with the flowers and vegetables, caring for and feeding the animals, and serving in the small farm shop. He's a fund of local knowledge, wisdom, and age-old stories. Uh, there's no chap who's living in Beckley who's got the raw oak every night in the summer, get his half a point, and his old dog used to be 10 yards behind. I should think he waddled along. He was getting old. He was about 16 year old. And I said to the old chap one night, I said, old dog gets slower, don't you, Jack? He said, yes, I can remember when she run and catch a rabbit. But he said, now, the faster she goes, the further she gets behind. And I thought that was a bit silly. But since I got on a bit, I think that's quite true, because the faster I go now, the further I get behind. And I think that's right. <laughs> When I was a young lad, there was 51 farmers in Beckley, and now there's 10 farmers in Beckley left. And in those times, there was over 80 cart horses. Now there's not one. And that ain't all for the good, I don't think, do you? I don't ring to worry over anything, but say if I got a cow calving out in the field anywhere, and I hadn't been and looked at it, and in the morning there's something wrong, I think, well, I've done something that I hadn't ought to have done, or I ought to have gone and seen to it. That sort of thing worries me, because I hadn't done it properly. If I go out in the field and look at some sheep, I don't see the good ones, I only see the bad ones. And that's just something the instinct tells you what's wrong and what's right. But it's just something that's bred in you, or it comes to you. you that's all I can say about that. In 87 years of my life, I've only had one holiday, and that was three days. I went to Scotland. Couldn't understand what they was talking about, and after they'd had a few drinks, I couldn't understand nothing. And no, I didn't think much of that, so I was glad to get home. <laughs> okay, in there, have a dozen eggs, please. Yes. My father-in-law, he was a police sergeant down here, and he always used to say there was only two things in life he wanted to see, and then he didn't mind if he didn't see no more. And you say, what's that? He said, a dead donkey and a satisfied farmer. I said, no, no, I've never seen one, and a lot of people never have. You will see a happy farmer, but not a satisfied one. <laughs>